I got to do nothing, which was just fantastic. I've never really known what it's like to have days off, so I was, I was like lapping it up. And, you know, I would just wake up and be like, oh my God, I don't have to do anything today. It was just such a rarity for me to not have to be somewhere. And then my partner would say like, oh, what are you doing today? And I'm like, nothing. You know, like really smug because I just never, I'd never experienced that. I mean, because oh, I, I went straight from university into signing a record deal. I had two jobs in the theater and in a clothes shop and I was doing open mic nights and I was studying for my degree. So I was just like constantly on. And then I signed a record deal and then it was just like, it was just like a snowball, just like a forever, you know, everything just like, you know, picked up and picked up. When I did my third record and when I finished that tour, did the Kygo track, did some more festivals last year. And I was like, oh, I can like finally like be still for a bit. For a while I was, I didn't want to write another song for the rest of my life. Um, and then eventually I did miss it and I missed the, the channeling, you know, everything into something. And I think it was really important for me to shake off whatever had I, you know, stuff that had attached to me through my job and through being in the spotlight and being well known and, and people, you know, recognizing me. And it took me a good year to really shake that off. And now I feel like I've reset myself and I'm sure I'm about to like put those layers straight back on again, we you know, without being able to help it. But I guess it's just what happens in this job, in this industry, yeah. Like what you just watched? Then download the Music Choice app for more.